So let me just grab the skeleton for a minute. Yeah, go ahead. Right, right mm -hmm. here, I think. <laughs> you do have a skeleton in the closet, do you? Right, yeah, there it is. <laughs> so, um... So here, for example, here I am um, erasing the board, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I, I have choices I can make. Yeah. Uh, I can erase the board in this R rotation, right? Mm -hmm. which, which brings me more to myself. Yeah. Makes me more self-aware. So how the teacher erases the board shows something as to where he is. Where he is, and it also, since we uh, the children are imitating, if you want, if you want, if you're having a sense that the children are getting out of themselves. Then, then you, you can have start doing do that that. movements, you see, yeah. that, and, you, and, and it's important, you know, again, like in switch footing, you know, the, the, uh, we need to employ the other side of our body. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Because that's the other half of our intelligence. And we're, we're being trained culturally to be one-sided. Yeah. And that's an important thing when the child is young, but once they hit the nine-year change, um, and especially when they hit puberty, they, we need to be encouraging our children to be ambidextrous. Because mm -hmm. that, that is, they're, then they're, they're accessing their whole being. Mm -hmm. And as you know, um, you know, when you go out into the workforce, you know, your, your boss isn't likely going to come up to you and say, Hey, uh, Dean, I want you to use your left arm today. I know you're right-handed, mm -hmm. but I want you to use your left arm today to do you know, some of these activities that you mm -hmm. do in, in mm -hmm. fabricating. Uh, or whatever you do, mm -hmm. uh, because I really want you to be a more healthy employee. Yeah. And so I know we're not going to make that much money and your, produ your production level is going to go down, but I want you to be more of a healthy person when you come to the workplace. Yeah. Well, that, that just is not going to happen in a capitalistic society. No, because it, we don't think of that. No, we think about the bottom line. Yeah. Um, so, you know, uh, uh, just a side note, this ambidextrousness, so I talk about it on the website, really important. Mm -hmm. So you see what I'm saying? You as, as a teacher can then you know, or, or maybe the, the kids are, are um, they need to wake, or they need to, yeah, they need to, I don't know, they need to show out, or, or, or I don't know. Well, they, they get to, they get, they get they too, get too incarnated, you need to, what, too you know, contracted. Too contracted, you need them if to, they, if to they have, lighten up. I call it, I call it when they have constipation. Yes, constipation. You can you, you do you it can, the other way around. You can stimulate the life force. Exactly. You know, this is yeah. dampening it down. Yeah, yeah. It's being more wakeful. It's, right. It brings it brings consciousness, mm -hmm. and this is is loosening it up. Yeah, the, the Kundalini sound I call it. Yeah, this Kundalini is a good thing. Yeah, <laughs> that I suppose is also one of the reasons why the jumping of the rope is so good because you're making it either go one way or the other. Yes, you know, and for example, jumping all, backwards all, or forward or something. You know, um, a lot of our uh, things that we that we already do in the world already have that wisdom in it, like you know. We, we do have a culture where there's more right-handed people, mm -hmm. um, but I, I don't think that there, you know, there's reasons for that. But, you know, we say righty-tighty, lefty-loosey, you see? Mm -hmm. We tighten, mm -hmm. well, it, but, it, but, it, but it's actually, it, 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 it doesn't really, mm -hmm. you know, it doesn't really, well, when you righty-tighty, right, you turn mm -hmm. it to the right, mm -hmm. that's, that's tightening, but actually it's, it's a loosening activity. Yeah, yeah. But, Here, it, it, there's but, tight but, but, but if you were all you on your left side, yeah. you see, righty-tighty, then it's the other way around. Yeah. <laughs> so righty tighty lefty loosey is actually uh, related to a left-handed person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they they have a, a different they have a different hard hard time to open jars and stuff. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> but and, and, uh, I realized this like one day I was when I was teaching in Sacramento we have these windows and and, and you you can go to these windows in, in in the San Juan Hall and you can open them up mm -hmm. and and I and and you know, you, you have to go that away, yeah. Yeah, and, and I, I thought, well, you could design this so that when you when you actually open the, the cranks, yes, you, they both go in, in the L rotation, All right, and they open up, yeah. You see, and then they go to an R rotation and right. they close. That would be, for me, you know, uh, uh, um, archetypally designed, so to speak, yeah. you know, or, yeah. or in, in, in harmoniously design. or something. Harmonious design, yeah. I don't know, whatever yeah. you call yeah. it. But so yeah. here we go. Um, we have the circle, mm -hmm. and we divide it into 12 segments. Mm -hmm. And Rudolf Steiner does something interesting with Zodiac. He flips it all around, and that kind of can wig out a lot of astrology yes, people. Yes, yes, yes. Um, right. <laughs>
Yeah, we're talking about mirroring in astral or in etheric ways. <laughs> yeah, this is all this, because he's saying how the, the yes. spirit world is the other way around. The other way around, and so he's trying to bring spirit into matter, and he's turning things around and mess with people's yeah. minds. And it's a good idea to do do things backwards. I think it is exactly, and that's that's related to right and left handedness. Exactly, exactly. So I could even be doing this, you know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there we are. <laughs> uh, anyway, so uh, what's interesting? This is the zodiac here, right? And then all around this great circle of in the zodiac, there are these twelve archetypal sounds. Mm-hmm. You know, I just wanted to show you, there's, there's not a coincidence, there's this interesting relationship to the sound L and R. Okay. Because right here you have the sound L, mm -hmm. the sound R, and right here you have the sound B. Aha, uh -huh. okay. And this creates a natural triangle. Zodiacal, zodiacal right. equilateral triangle. Mm -hmm. triangle. Mm -hmm. And you can go the all the way around, but you know, with all the yes, different sounds. Yes, yes. But I, I just for today's things, I just wanted to show this relationship between R, L, and B. Yeah. Which I think is really important. And I, my my clue, or my my thought on this was that, um, you know, the L and the R are, are rotational movements. Mm -hmm. They with with the ability to uh, do the L and the R is we're creating vortices. Mm -hmm. So we have an air vortice. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. We have a water vortice, mm -hmm. and one goes one direction, one goes the other. And so Frank's work is all about these two, how L and R with are coming the, together. With the heart, yes. Mm -hmm. And also, of course, uh, on the head you have the the, the yes, spiral. Yes, you have a, 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 yeah. You got, yeah. Everyone's got a spiral there. Spirals in their in their head, which is uh, their hairline, which is mm -hmm. uh, growth patterns in their hair. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that often, uh, yeah, that's interesting. I wonder if it has anything to do with handedness, too, or natural handedness. It could could have. For, but anyway, could, I believe we all should be ambidextrous. Um, anyway. So you yeah. have. So um, what I found is that, um, you know, this joint, mm -hmm. and it's the same with the arm, mm -hmm. that, that, that is this relationship. Because, uh -huh. the, see, there's, there, we, we are able to, to rotate here, you see? Mm -hmm, We're able to mm -hmm. do the L and the R. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's this buh sound that, that corrals these vortices together. Yeah. So there's a clue here, I think, with regards to our, our, the functionality of, of part of our skeletal system. It could be that that's the archetype for the skeleton. Mm -hmm. It could be that the other three triads, because there'll be four triads, could one could be related to um, you know, muscle, you know, it could be related to our organs, you see? And, mm -hmm. there, there's and the, bone? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, this is, that's, I believe, the bone yeah, triad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's, you know, Steiner also broke up our, our, our physiology into four things. I'd have to work with a doctor on that. Mm -hmm. But I believe that this, this heart, the heart forces have a relationship with these, with this. And with these sounds this and that kind of a triangle. And the, the heart also, we see the heart is, is, is cold, is, 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 is like in that, and that buh sound, you mm -hmm. see, is, you know, it's, it's, it's bringing, bringing it to form. Yep. Bringing it, it to form. And if you really listen to the buh, buh. you know, it really goes buh, buh. and it releases. Yeah. Yeah. Buh. buh. Yeah. That's what's yeah. actually happening. Well, you can see it uh, uh, stronger when you do the puh. Yes. Because puh. puh. Yeah. And that's it, what's been happening, it, the puh. Yeah. But you don't normally see that with a buh. No. Because yeah, they're, they're normally focused on Most people on, on hold the, it. Because when you make that sound, there's this, and, and, the, and, and the forces are held, and then it's yes. released. Because if, if you held the lips together, it, it would end up to be an M. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Right? Exactly. <laughs> so yeah. you have to, B, you have but, to. And you release it. And, and the yeah. P is, is, in the, is like in the G and the K, mm -hmm. they're sonically in the same family. Mm -hmm. One's just more, uh, one's sharper, sharper. Or lighter, and the yeah. other one's fuller. Same as the D and the T. Right, and so we have a long tradition in, in Eurythmy, for example, to always do our B like that and just hold it. Yeah. And, and I can understand that's important in certain curative rhythmic exercises, that, that you to know, hold this holding it quality. quality. But the B, it, when, if it's done completely, is a release. It, yeah, it needs to. It needs the, to. That's what the P is doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The P. Yeah. And which also then has to do with, you know, whether we're, like accentuating more the inner side of our arm, which then mm -hmm. has to do with more the minor mode. Right. Or, or the outside of our arm, which has to do more of the major mode. Yeah. And the, you know, see the pa, you're, you're employing this outer side. Yeah. 
and, so, and, and this you're employing inner side. Yeah. So you, you can see already with you know, regards to music, the major and minor chords or the major mm -hmm. and minor modes, say, have, have that relationship to the inner side. Mm -hmm. You know, Steiner has, talks about uh, the major and minor chords mm -hmm. and, and how he gives these gestures. Mm -hmm. And you know, and the major is, is, yes. is, is streaming out on yeah. the outside of our, yeah. and then yeah. more inside. Yeah. And how he does that, that triad, you know. That's also again more the straight line and and and, and curve and, line exactly. So you see all these yeah. formative principles, and you, yeah. you, and he you know he talks about that. You know, there's there's a you know one, two, and then three to create mm -hmm. that chord. Yeah. And this holds us back from going out of ourselves. Yeah. That last. That's that right. Last note yeah. and then the triad of the major yeah. chord. Yeah. Whereas in in the in the minor chord, you know, there's a step back into oneself, mm -hmm. not going out of oneself. So there's a step back, in. and then there's this caving in on oneself, and yeah. then there's like this holding back. You yeah. can almost do it like that. Yeah. You can almost like, like, so you don't like go too far in and you yeah. know, go crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's this balancing between the, 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 the major modes being too far out and being completely a looney tick or a looney tune, I don't know, or going and being suicidal. And yeah, get, going too far in. Too far. In. Yeah, yeah. With the major minor modes. But you know, again, so much of this stuff is so related that, that, Again, I, you can see, I was wanted to point out this, because for me, this is new, this and then, is new, and then new of research. Course, people can play with the rest of the zodiac and find out themselves what might be behind that. Right, what, what, what is, you know, then you start going, okay, so then what is this triad? Mm -hmm. how, how does this, how do these sounds relate to each yeah. other? What, what yeah. formative or, or, or what processes? Not only that, you can then look a little bit, you know, the way that people lo look at a horoscope, you can look at what the sidereal um, um, yep. way of looking at it is and uh, it just opens a whole new world of uh, the zodiac and the planets that we just normally don't have. That's right, because uh, uh, in essence you know, applied eurythmy is, is a conscious inquiry of, of, yep. of these uh, principles and elements that Rudolf Steiner shared with us uh, in speech and music. Yeah. We have to start asking the questions, we, have, yep. we need to start um, Dialoguing, yeah. it's, it's a co-creative process. Yes. Rudolf Steiner brought all this out out of his spirit, but we need to collaborate now. And yeah. and you know, I would love it if people would, would take an interest in this and start yeah. you know emailing me and or, or and, we can and start start work, we can start working together working together. Right. We can start. Being we can do it right here at the research center. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so what research center are we talking about here? There we go. <laughs> well, thank you. For now, we thank might you, yeah. do more later. You never know. Check it out, check it out from all angles. Each kite has got the right. Mm -hmm. together. It's got two eyes and a mouth. <laughs> right. <laughs> and of course, what do we have hanging up here, right? 